I was the knight in shining armor in your movie. Would put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now. Hi loves, so today I am coming to you with another beauty video which is a little different than I was initially anticipating for today's upload. It is Friday and I was hoping to start looking into the lens today, but I'm still kind of in the process of editing the first episode and I didn't want to rush it just to make sure I could get it up today. So I'm going to push things back a week and start looking into the lens next Friday. I hope you guys don't mind, I know that you're looking forward to it, but I also kind of want to make sure since you're looking forward to it that it's the best quality I can make it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will definitely link the preview down in the down bar, so please go check it out. It's a pretty short little video, but it kind of gives you an idea of what I'm aiming for with the series. In short, it was my senior thesis project at Mason and I studied film so I decided to make a film about the YouTube community and now I'm kind of converting it into a web series that I'm sharing here on my YouTube channel. So if you are looking forward to seeing that make sure to subscribe right down there so you don't miss any episodes and kind of the beauty videos I upload in between and everything else on my channel. I promise that it's a lot of fun here and we're a fun little family so uh, you won't regret subscribing and you should hang out because uh, it's a good time. All right. Uh, I'm gonna get started now. <laughs> so it's no secret to those of you who have watched my videos for a while, but I am obsessed with nail polish and have always been obsessed with nail polish. I just think it's so much fun to change up colors on your nails and I can never resist when I see new collections and things like that in the drugstore or Ulta or wherever I am and I'm just like drawn towards the nail polishes because they're just so much fun. Fall and winter is kind of one of my favorite seasons for all aspects of fashion and I love darker nail polish colors. This first nail polish is an oldie witty goodie and it is OPI's Ski Teal We Drop. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this color because YouTube was obsessed with it a few years ago and I know a lot of girls still wear it. This is it in case you haven't seen it before. I'm also gonna insert some close-ups so you can see the colors better but I'm kind of laughing at myself right now because this totally matches my shirt and that was not on purpose at all um, but it happened and this is definitely one of my favorite colors for this time of year because it's dark but it's not like black and there's nothing wrong with black nail polish but I love colors that are kind of darker but still have a different tone to them so I think this is a really pretty one for this time of year and also teal is like randomly a fall color this year so I mean I'm just following the trends you know Next up is a gorgeous green color. This is from Orly and it's in Lucky Duck and this is it. It looks really bright on camera for some reason but I promise on the nails it comes out kind of a more dark like emeraldy color so it's perfect for this time of year. It's one of my absolute favorites and go-to's for fall because I just feel like dark green is such a fall color and like makes me think of the holidays too and I just love this so much. It's so fun. This next one is definitely the darkest polish that I am including in this video. It is OPI's Visions of Love and this is kind of a like pivotal fall color. Like when I think of fall I just think of this exact color. So it is this kind of like maroon but almost even darker red color and I just, I don't know, something about this just screams fall to me and I think it's such a fun color for this time of year when I really want to play up that like vampy, just dark color side of this season. So this is a really fun one and I find myself reaching for it a lot in the fall. This next one is another one that I have loved for years, but honestly I really love any shade of purple, hence my walls. But this is Revlon Bold Sangria and it's just a nice dark purple color. It goes kind of darker on the nails than in the bottle, kind of like a lot of these colors. So it almost looks black, but then it has a nice kind of cool purple tone to it, which I just think is really fun and this is another one that I find myself reaching for quite a bit this time of year. This last one I think is my most festive fall nail polish and this just really screams fall to me. So it's another OPI nail polish. This is in Brisbane Bronze and it's this gorgeous, no shock, bronzy color. I love that it has kind of a shimmer to it and there's a little bit of a lighter kind of golden tone. I think those two colors together really just, you know, make me think of like leaves falling and Thanksgiving and Halloween and just everything that's fun about this time of year. It also kind of like matches my hair a little bit which was also kind of fun. Wow that's I'm just matching today. I don't know man. <laughs> but anyway I really love this color. I think it's a fun one for this time of year and it really just kind of encompasses everything fall so totally recommend this one. 
All right, and those were my top five nail polish picks from my personal nail polish collection. They actually were all kind of older nail polishes, so if you guys have any recommendations from new collections that have come out recently, make sure to leave them down below, because I'm always looking for new colors to try out. If you love nail polish and fall as much as I do, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and also subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. I promise that you will want to kind of keep up with my channel, because looking into the lens is such a fun project, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. That I'm at an all time. <laughs>